Hello guys, my name is Adil Welcome back to my channel. On September 6th, Laravel 5.5 has been released. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Laravel 5.5 in Windows 10. So let's get started. So before installing Laravel, we need some other things which is very essential for installing Laravel. So first of all, it's SAMP. So we need SAMP for installing PHP and MySQL. So the link of SAMP is in the description. Just go to this page and click the SAMP for Windows download button out here and the download will start automatically. So now I have already downloaded it. So I will just cancel it. And the second thing which we need is Composer. So Composer is a package installer which is also very um, essential for installing Laravel because Laravel uses many Composer packages. So just go to getcomposer.org and click the download button out here and this will read out to another page and out here you can see download and run Composer setup.exe. Just click on this link and this will start the download. So I have already downloaded that too. So before moving on to the third thing which is Node.js. It's not actually required for installing Laravel but we need that for uh, compiling our JavaScript and CSS files. So it's required f uh, while we are doing project on Laravel. So I will uh, move on to installing La SAMP and Composer. So first of all open SAMP and wait for it you can see something like this ok now this is that set up just click on next and be sure that you check all of this and you can change this destination folder but I will just keep it on SAMP C SAMP yeah it's because I have already installed it on SAM, uh, C so I'll just currently change it so I'll uncheck that and next next so this will install SAMP I have already installed that so I'm not going to install it again so I'll just cancel it so next we need to open Composer so open Composer click next and at this part you need to be careful you have to select the php.exe file inside the SAM folder that we have uh, installed previously. So be sure that you can you see something like this SAM slash php slash php.exe. So now you can click uh, next and next and install. This will install Composer to your php.exe file. So after you have installed Composer, uh, open your command line and check whether PHP and Composer is successfully installed or not. You can check whether PHP is installed by typing PHP space dash V and Composer by just typing Composer. Yeah, you can see something like this. Now we can install Laravel. So for installing Laravel, we need to open our La Laravel documentation so just go to documentation slash installation and below out here you can see a code via, Lara via Laravel installer just copy it and paste it on your CMD uh, copy paste ok now this will install Laravel in your system uh, in your system so once this is completed you can use the code which is laravel so we can create a new project in laravel by just typing something like laravel new space the folder's name so i'm going to cancel this because i have already installed that and you can check by just typing laravel so uh, now we can create a new project 
should che uh, to check whether we have successfully installed Laravel or not. So I'll just open CMD in some folder and type Laravel new test. Remember that the test out here is the folder's name. You can change it, you can give it any name you want. And uh, now this will install Laravel um, project for you. So each time you create a project, you need to run this command. You uh, you cannot use the uh, previous projects for a new one. It's not quite good. So while recording this video is uh, Laravel 5.5.3. Installation is completed. Now we can CD to our project, which is test and now for running this we need to open SAMP and uh, start Apache and MySQL so each time you restart or reboot your system you need to start Apache and MySQL so it's a one-time process each time you open your PC now we can close that and type php artisan serve this will locally host the laravel application so go to browser and type localhost 8000 and if you have successfully installed laravel uh, you can see an error like this this is an error because uh, laravel 5.5 .5 do not uh, encrypt the key automatically so we need to do it so just stop the server and type php artisan key generate so this will generate a key and now if you run php artisan serve we can see a page like this and that's it for installing laravel so now i've told you that i will talk about node.js so if you want you can download this from this site just click on the any version you want I will use the latest version but most of the users uh, use the 6.11.3 LTS so just download it and install it so once you have once you have installed it you can just we are node version so it will give the version of node which is installed in your system so if you have installed a node you can also type the code npm so npm is exactly thing which we want to use in laravel so npm is the uh, compiler so i will not talk much about that in this video so if you want to know more about that you can just ask me through any social media or just comment it below i will uh, just type it for you so now we have installed a laravel so now I will show you what is the necessity of running SAMP each time we open our system. So the use of SAMP that I have told you that to install PHP and MySQL. So PHP is installed and we don't need to do anything else for that. But for running um, uh, MySQL we need to run Apache and MySQL. So each after running uh, SAMP you can go to localhost slash php my admin to manage your database so this is very essential for a project on web you need to store your data so this is the place where you need to store data so for creating a new uh, database just click on new and type the database name i will type test one and just create it and now we have successfully created a new test database and now we can open our approach in atom or sublime or any kind of notepad so i will use atom because i like it and i will just quickly show you how to change this view and type something like hello world and just give a short introduction uh, for beginners so wait till um, atom opens yeah it's opening
so if you want to know how to build a social media website using laravel you can just uh, go to my playlist on how to build a social media website so now i've opened up my project in atom so you can see these the various files and folders which are available in a fresh new laravel project so you can see a dot env file out here this is the environment file which is very essential for the whole working of this uh, project so here we can set the app name so it's default laravel if you want you can change to something like test and out here you can change the database so we will keep the data uh, db connection to mysql db host to 27.0.0.1 which is local host and db port to 3306 so i will change database uh, to test one and the username is root for samp and password is blank so just leave it empty so just keep in mind that samp sam's username is root and password is blank so you can also give your mail port its uh, default mail trap you can change it to uh, gmail and this is a pusher is for real time works and this is some broadcast cache session queue drivers so i will not talk about that now we will uh, type php artisan make auth actually what this command does is it will create a login register uh, things so that we don't need to create login and register stuffs so if you reload you can see login and register out here so just click login and you will rewrite to some a page which is uh, where you can login and register so now if i try to do something like this it will give me error because we are don't have any table so for that we will migrate our uh, migrations so you can find migration inside the database migrations you can create new migrations and edit the previous ones so this is the migration file for users table so this is the codes you can create it by typing php artisan make migrations and yeah this error because the um, uh, key length was too long and we can fix that by uh, for that we need to clear our yeah uh, we need to clear our mm, migrate fresh clear our database so it's a new it's a new uh, no doesn't work so I will just drop the database and create a new one which is just one and for fixing this error just go to provider app service provider and the boot here just schema set default string length to 191 so this will fix the problem so we are using the schema class here so we need to pull it out just copy the schema class from here and paste it out here and now if you run php artisan migrate so it was my mistake actually it is not set default string uh, string length is just the first string length so now if we run php artisan migrate we can see migration is done successfully and don't forget to run php artisan sir and um, now if you reload php my admin you can see the uh, three different database so it's the default one you can edit it so this the structure so now if you reload this we, uh, we will get an error uh, it's, it's because we don't have any user like this so we can register a new one by typing from here
yeah now I've successfully logged in so if you want you can edit that so I will give you a quick narration how to do that so how these things work is we are we have to register routes so these are the different routes so this is a whole connection of route is auth routes so I'm not going to take you out there um, so this is the main page so this is uh, this will return a view welcome so this is inside the resource views so this is a welcome.bay.php if we want we can change this view to something like hello or hi and if you reload you can see that hi or you can just return or change to some other files which is uh, I will now return to home so home and this will return to home.blade.php so I'll just remove it so now this is not a cleaner way of doing that we are uh, it's better to use a controller which is uh, like this and the method out here so the controllers you can find inside HTTP controllers and these are the controllers you can create a new controller so, mm, it's basically it so the thing which after the at out here is the function um, which he, which we need to use so that's all so thank you for watching guys that's all for installing laravel 5.5 so if you have any doubt regarding or to install laravel you can ask me so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel you can always contact me through social medias like facebook twitter or google plus